Okay, so this is a riv nut, and you can get these in different sizes. And basically, they're threaded for the bottom section, but the top section's got no thread. And what you do is you can insert them into a uh, sheet metal or a chassis section or something, and then basically the bottom clamps up, as you'll see later in the video, to form a captive nut in this plate. Okay, it's much neater than using self tappers. Okay, now this is the tool, the simple tool that that's been designed to insert rib nuts and basically as you put wind this bolt in here this wedge slides in and causes this screw to pull up so if I just sort of demonstrate it you see that as you pull it in this thread pulls up okay and that pulls the thread up while pushing on the top of this rib nut and, and forms a captive rib nut so there we go so you insert you drill a hole as tight as possible to fit put the rib nut in okay you can actually wind this on So you see how the tools assembled with this top plate here, the wedge, okay, and that's wound fully out. So we'll put that there, okay, and we're going to just nip up the, okay, right, and then what we've got to do is we've got a bar here to stop this moving. Now what I'm going to try and do for this video, normally you would just wind this nut here with a socket set, 11mm uh, socket, but I'm going to try and do it with the electric drill um, to give you an idea of the motion, okay. So, let me get this, get this tight here, okay, so it's much better to do it with a socket set than an electric drill, but this should just show us what happens, okay, so here we go, so you should see the underside of that rib nut compressing up as we wind it in. So there you go, you see it's formed a flange underside. And what you then need to do is using an Allen key, remove, remove the, okay. And there you have, there's your captive nut. And that'll be a watertight seal as well. So if you do it in a roof or something, that will give you a watertight seal. Now this tool will do M4, M5 and M6 rivnuts.